there are two things that we need to install first the first one is a react native reanimated and the second package that we need to install is react native svg for installing react native reanimated we are going to follow the official expo document so go ahead to google search for expo react native reanimated and open this first link that shows up in here we can find all the procedure for installing that package i'm going to go ahead and copy this code by the way i'm going to put the link of this website in the description box below so you can go ahead and check that out and then in here i'm going to paste let us go back to the website and check for the next step it is written here after the installation completed add the babel plugin so let us copy this code here go back to visual studio search for this babel.config.js and i'm going to overwrite whatever i have copied here and then don't forget to save the file so the first step is done we have installed react native reanimated now the next thing to do is to install react native svg i'm going to search react native svg and the first link i'm going to open that let us copy this code and come back to our terminal and i'm going to paste the code here now the two dependencies that were required for using or for installing the circular progress bar is done now we can go ahead and install the circular progress bar itself for that i'm going to write on npm install react hyphen native hyphen circular hyphen progress indicator and then press enter we are going to go back to app.js let us import the circular progress bar indicator import circular progress from i'm going to select this a react native circular progress indicator now let us go down i'm going to create a view and then in here i'm going to call this component i'm going to make it as self-closing now first of all the value i'm going to set it to step count because the value on the progress bar should be equal to the steps i'm going to set a max value as well i'm going to put it to 6500 of course you can change it 6500 will be approximately equal to 5 kilometers so that is the maximum value i'm setting and then i'm going to set the radius as well to 210 text color I'm going to link this website as well in the description box below. I'm going to use this color. It is very close to white with a tint of gray in it. That's the text color. And then for active stroke color, I'm going to use this color. Don't forget to put it inside the curly brackets. Next. I'm going to give some inactive stroke color as well. By the way, you can use other colors as well from this website. If we go back, there are a lot of options to choose from. So you can choose any color that you want. 
opacity I want it to be 0 0.5 and active stroke width let us set it as 40 and then active stroke width I am going to set it to 40 as well let us give it some title step count and title color for title color I'm going to use the same color that I used for text and last let us give some style font weight and I'm going to set it to bold that's it I'm going to save this now and let us check the output okay the progress bar is coming fine and let us see if the step count is increasing as well Yes, so far it's good. The step count is increasing as well as the circular progress bar is moving. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel for other amazing apps. Since you have watched the video to the end, here is an inspiring quote just for you.